Hi, Mix. How are you doing today? Hello. Yeah, so. yeah good, thanks. My name is Kayla, and I am a UI UX designer. But I'm trying to um, make these videos for that ecosystem. And today, Mix, who is working on a project called AHOW, would be showing me how AHOW works. AHOW is a project for archiving cultural details. So Mix would be sharing his screen and navigating the web application called AHOW. So Mix, over to you. Yeah, hi. OK, I'll screen share. Uh, hopefully this works. Perfect. So um, AHOW is a desktop application which does run like a, a web view. This is my developer setup. So it's got a bunch of um, test data in here. So um, things that, let me see. So these are different tribes that I'm a part of. So I'm going to show you, Whakapapa is the word for uh, lineage or heritage. So these are lots of different scenarios that we've been testing to make sure that they render correctly. Let me see if I can. Oh, yes, this is an interesting one. My partner leaves me for my cousin. Um, so looking at um, how do we draw a family graph when there's um, repetition of people? So it, it looks like a family tree. Um, you can click on people to see more information about them. This isn't very interesting looking because it's an example one. Um, these graphs can be like very large. So um, some of them, we have like a requirement that we need to be able to support upwards of 5,000 people in a graph, which is quite hard. So loading is a little bit slow. Um, these, we can add photos to these. So let's, let's do that. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what images I've got on my computer. Gosh, here we go. This can be Tama here, super pixelated. So uh, some of these images are stored on, on DAT, as well as some of the, the videos and stuff I'll show you later. So yeah, uh, and the graph can be expanded out quite far. So it's a it's a it's a family archiving thing. Um, so we can you can also go through and look at stories. Uh, so if you know um, a story about Tama, like Tama's wedding, you could add these artifacts. Um, I haven't prepared any any. Um, any great resources to put up here, but here's a say here's a family photo, and you can do do things like uh, mention that this also included like um, wonder what this should work um, to search up different people that you could mention in the photo, but um, we didn't put real name oh, we don't have names on the people in this archive, so you can build up a timeline. Um, so this allows you to like look through, you can look through stories and histories from two perspectives. You can jump through this family tree and dive in and be like, who is Tama? This is like a, a great ancestor of mine and go read some stories about them. But you can also go to the tribe and look at the archive of the tribe and like look at and sort this by time. So. I think we, I think we have a timeline feature somewhere. Uh, it might not be in this version, but um, where you can like look at the, the stories as they've as they've sort of been happening. But you can also like dive back and past and search for them. Uh, I don't think. I think that I mean like this is the core of the this is the core of the application. I don't think there's too much more to demo. Um, do you have any questions, Kayla? Yes, I do. Um, can you, what if I just, you know, download the software on my laptop, you know, just take me mm. through how I'm going to onboard myself, you know, the first home screen, right. what do I see, like that. 
Yeah, sure. That's that's great. Um, so when you when you first arrive, there's nothing here, um, but you can create a profile for yourself, and if you um, you can you're given the option to join the network or join a network, and so there are these. Um, there are these things called Pataka, which are like storehouses, which help you connect to other users out on the internet. Um, and you can see that I've got like four of them and that I, that I know about and only one of them that I'm connected to. <clears throat> this is an earlier one that um, doesn't have a name. And so you, you're seeing the sort of rough edges of the software. But um, once you've connected to some of these different relays, these Pataka, Pataka means storehouse in, in Māori, it's like a food a place where the food and uh, also like treasures and stuff might be stored on a on a traditional uh, marae. Um, you'll see that there's all of these different tribes that you can join or request to join. So th these are the ones that I'm a part of. Um, you can request to join another one. So here's uh, Nati Tarea. This is um, not my family. This is the family of one of my co-workers and I can ask to join that tribe. Um, so all of the information is kept encrypted within that group and I can't read it or contribute to it until I'm um, until I'm allowed in. So this is sort of a, this is a request to join form. So each each tribe can customize the questions that it might like to ask about joining. So who are you? Uh, my name is Mix. Where am I from? I'm from Hastings originally. They might other have have. Um, so this is showing some of the information that's going to be forwarded. Um, but they can also ask other questions like, who was your great great grandparent, or like what which walker or boat did you arrive on in New Zealand, uh, as a way to help sort of identify you and confirm who you are. And then when you go submit, that's you. Um, that's me sending it off to a kaitiaki, a guardian of the tribe, to decide whether they whether I'm gonna uh, be allowed to enter. So that's what it looks like to join an existing one, which is like what most users will experience. If you're a brand new person, you can start your own tribe. So, um, Kayla's family, like if this was you, um, you can set up. A tribe like this. Um, there's a bunch of settings you can you can say these are the things that we would like to record within our tribe. We don't we don't really care about what birth uh, what people's date of birth was, or we don't um, or we require people to enter it when they join the tribe. Um, so you can come back and mess around with these features later. But this is a tribe started. Um, and then we can start a new Whakapapa. This is a lineage. And so this could be, um, this is where you put maybe the name of the, um, so I'll just make something up, East Bay family, if that might mean something to some group. And the first person I would like to start that graph with would be like, um, well, I'm, uh, I'll just call them grandparent um, Susan or something like that. Uh, and this is the start of a graph. And then you can just add children in the same way. So you could say, um, they had a son called Tane. I'm, I'm just I'm drawing names from Māori mythology now. Um, Hinemoa, and you can build out a graph like this. Yeah. Um, and in terms of, I think I, in terms of adding stories, you can write a story about a time that um, Tane um, brought light to the world. because he was in the creation myth, that's what he did. Um, I don't want to share it anyway. Um, 
It's just a silly graphic from somewhere else. So you can make a story, um, come back and other people can edit the story and write a lot of detail. You can upload um, audio recordings as well. So artifacts can be, I don't think I have any audio on my computer, but you can, um, Oh, I'm sure an invoice will be fine. Yes. So you can uh, upload PDFs um, as well, all sorts of things. We need to build a PDF viewer, but you can download it and read it at the moment. Yeah. So that's what it looks like getting started. Hmm. This was this was very easy to watch you navigate, and and it was easy to understand. And now my interest in this project has increased because I will definitely be back <laughs> to the website and play around with all of this. You know, probably hmm. build my family tree like you started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's other, quite interesting. Yeah. Is there any other part of the website you feel like the users need more explanation on? Hmm. Um, I think that I think the trickiest thing to understand is the peer-to-peer -peer nature of of Aho. So one of the things, because this isn't a website which is run by a company, like Aho doesn't hold any of the data. All of the data is held on this computer and on the computers of my family members. Um, that's kind of a different way of thinking and organizing. Um, and it means that uh, there are some things like you don't have a username and a password. I just turn my computer on and open Aho and I'm interacting with it because all of the data is on my computer. I don't need to connect to a website or anything. The So this has some like advantages and disadvantages. It means that I don't need the internet to be online to be re reviewing my records or editing them. It means that I could, if this was my laptop, I could take it to the meeting house, swap data, like up, get, a, get an upload of data from the local Wi-Fi and then go back to my house if there's no internet and it would still this would still work. So that's an advantage. A disadvantage is if I um, if my laptop gets damaged, like I, it gets a cup of coffee spilt on it or something like that, um, I can't as easily get my password back. So I need someone else in my group to sort of let uh, I would have to I might have to join the group again and someone would have to let me in. So uh, that's one way, but the other way is that you um, you might need to back up your keys. So everything is built with these cryptographic keys down at a low level, and they, they're the things that allow you to read and write some things and other people aren't allowed to. And so this is like a, a file that you really have to download and keep a copy of somewhere safe so that if you ever lose your, you know, you might want to email it yourself or something like that. But it means that you can, if you do lose your laptop, you can, um, and you get a new laptop or something like that, you can put these keys back in and pick up where you left off. So that's that's probably the biggest thing that people need to know. Hmm. Thank you so much for that very, very important information. And, and as much as this video looked and seemed very simple to me, I'm sure that other people would relate and understand this demo as, as, a, as I did. Thank you very much mm. for your time. No worries. Yeah. Hey. So I think that'll be all. Thank you so much, Mix. Yeah, you're, you're most welcome. Thanks for taking the time and asking questions. It's really, it's really nice to share.